What's up, guys? We have to watch this together. This dude literally destroys this woman's argument against the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So let's watch this. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you another point in where exactly what she's asking for can be given to her. What about his resurrection from the dead? What do you make of that? I wasn't there. I didn't see it. I'm not going to believe anything I don't see for myself. Thanks. Did you see the Battle of Waterloo? Nope. Do you think the Battle of Waterloo happened? I don't know. It's, it's history. It's like, like we've been talking about. It's left up to interpretation. There was a man who debated with me that the Holocaust never took place. Do you buy that? No, I'm not talking about the Holocaust. I'm, we're talking about Jesus Christ We're talking here, about okay? history, man. Yeah, you raised the issue yeah, yeah. history. No, you said history is just a matter of interpretation. History. The Bible is stories. Is history just a bunch of stories, or is historical knowledge a legitimate form of knowledge? If historical knowledge is not a legitimate form of knowledge, then don't tell me that you know the Holocaust took place. Because it's just a story, that's all history is. So history's bunk, right? And don't tell me that white Americans enslaved black Americans, because I've never seen a slave. So if you really buy into this idea that history's bunk, don't tell me that black Americans were ever slaves here. Because I never saw a black slave. For myself, I am convinced that history's not bunk. I am convinced the evidence is the Holocaust did take place. I'm convinced the evidence is that black people were enslaved in the United States, and I hate that slavery. And I'm not going to kick back and say, well, it's all a matter of interpretation. No, it's not. There's historical evidence, solid evidence, that the Holocaust took place and that African Americans were enslaved in this country. Wouldn't you agree? I agree with that. That's not what I'm arguing. You're, 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 you're deviating from the point. Why should I believe that Jesus... Jesus was resurrected. Because the historical evidence is that okay, he really died medical, and he really rose from the dead. You give me some medical records and I'll believe it, okay? You show me Jesus Christ's medical chart, I'll, be, I'll buy into it. I'll be a Christian to date. Man, they didn't keep medical records in the first century. Oh, that's so convenient, isn't that? That's wonderful. No, rather, it's real convenient for you to say, knowing full well they didn't keep medical records in the first century, it's so convenient for you to say, all right, if, if you give me the medical records, then I'll believe. Talk about convenient. Give me a break. Come on, man. Let's be honest. How convenient of you to say, unless we have it on Polaroid film, I can't believe it, knowing full well they didn't have Polaroid film in the first century. How convenient of you to say, well, show me the medical records from NYU Hospital, and then I'll believe Jesus rose from the dead, knowing full well NYU Hospital did not exist in the first century. Come on, ma'am. Homer, Herodotus, Sophocles, Plato, Aristotle. Show me the medical records for them, will you? Historical knowledge is not based on medical records, ma'am. It's based on the trustworthiness of eyewitness testimony. And the eyewitnesses is that Herodotus and Aristotle and Cicero and Virgil really lived. They're not just figments of people's fertile imagination. And the historical evidence is that Jesus really lived, really died, and really rose from the dead. And eyewitnesses saw him risen from the dead. And they wrote what they saw. That's historical knowledge. So this guy's name is Cliff Mitchell. This is like my second video that I've seen from him. And I'm probably going to go down a rabbit hole looking at his stuff. But as far as the medical records go, what's interesting is there's no medical records of Jesus at that time. There's no medical records of Jesus' resurrection. But we do have forensic medical evidence by the Journal of American Medical Association, in which it states that based on the evidence that we have, the historical evidence that we have, as Cliff was saying, that Jesus was dead before he was pulled off of the cross. Now, as far as his resurrection goes, there would be no need to have medical evidence for a resurrection. Jesus rose from the dead. The biggest medical examination we got was when Thomas touched the holes. But as Cliff said, the historical evidence points to the facts that Jesus lived, that he died by crucifixion, and that there's hundreds of witnesses of him rising from the dead. And those witnesses were willing to die for their belief. God bless. I'll see you on the next one. And make sure you check out this video right here.